Okay. I'll now call to order the regular meeting Thursday, February 24th, uh, 21st, 2019. I'd like to remind everybody to silence all their electronic devices. And if you have an item on the agenda you wish to speak on, please fill out the blue slip in the back of the room and turn it up to Miss Jessica here in the front. We'll have the invocation and pledge of allegiance by Mr. Guidry. I'll stand, please. Heavenly Father, we come this evening in the most humble and gracious way we know how as your Christian people. We ask a special blessing upon Calcasieu Parish, the city of Lake Charles, and the state of Louisiana, Heavenly Father. We ask that you would wrap your arms around every elected official and help us make the decisions that will be most pressing upon our constituents, Heavenly Father, in which we serve. We ask these many blessings in your son named Jesus. Amen. Amen. May we all face the flag, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Mr. Guidry. Thank you, Mr. President. <coughs> Roll call, Ms. Kath. Yes, sir. Mr. Abshire? Here. Mr. Andrew Pond? Here. Mr. Barris? Here. Mr. Brain? Here. Mr. Collins? Here. Mr. Farnham? Here. Mr. Guidry? Here. Mr. Hillary? Here. Mr. Landry? Here. Mr. Latour? Here. Vice President Mayo? Here. Mr. McMillan? Here. Here. Jeremy was unable to attend this evening, and President White? Here. Thank you, Ms. Kath. <laughs> Item number four, take appropriate action on applications for liquor and beer permits. Mr. Crane. Mr. President, we have four applications before you tonight and recommend that so they moved. be approved. Right. Second. I have a motion by Mr. McMillan and a second by Mr. Scott. Any objection or any discussion? Any objection? Four carries. Item five, consideration Move of approval five. payment of all current invoices Second. and provide regular monthly budget to actual comparisons. I have a motion by Mr. Anderpont and a second by Mr. Bears. Do we have any discussion? Any objection? That item carries. Item six, consideration of approval Move the minutes approved. of the Second. regular meeting of police jury dated January 17, 2019. I have a motion by Mr. Gilry and a second by Mr. Latour. Any discussion? <coughs> Any objection? That item carries. Before we move on to seven, I want to remind everybody I'll need a motion to approve rezoning with conditions or a motion to deny rezoning. Item seven, consideration of adopting an ordinance approving the following approve rezoning zone, application. 3500 block Second. of South Douglas Parkway in Ward 4 to rezone from single family residential R1 and light <laughs> industrial I1 to light industrial I1 to allow industrial development. I have a motion by Mr. Farnham and a second by Mr. Bears to rezone with conditions. Mr. Farnham. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I want to clarify the eight foot fence. <laughs> this is going to be on the west boundary and the, uh, the south boundary that abuts the residential property. Is that correct? Uh, yes, sir. So anything that, that abuts residential property, whether it's occupied residential property or not, it'll have a, an eight-foot fence. Well, <clears throat> the, the fence won't be erected until they actually... All right, until they actually build un, un, Until they develop the property. Yeah, yeah that's But fine. yes, there is a provision now in this... Uh, there is a stipulation in here that requires that they put up that eight-foot fence along the, the, the boundary line of this particular property, yes. Um, next question for Mr. Connor. Um, that road, Moss Road, is, is a very residential type road. And uh, we were, uh, Wes and I were talking about that today about how to make sure we don't end up with 18 wheeler traffic maybe making a delivery in or what, whatever this ends up being. Uh, would that be best, better served being done with a, with a uh, no truck? on the road itself, posting the road, uh, doing a no truck uh, amendment to an ordinance rather than a stipulation on the property. Would that be better served doing it that way? That would be my preference would be to do an ordinance for no parking. Okay. Well, no we'll, 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 we'll work that at a later date then. Okay. Okay. I'm, I rest. We have any further discussion? Any objection? That item carries. 
Item 8, consideration of adopting an ordinance Move authorizing on eight. the Second. purchase of property located at 1030 in Invader Street, Sulphur, through funding received from the FEMA Flood Mitigation Assistance <coughs> Program, FMA, to mitigate future flood FEMA losses Street. of this repetitive loss structure. I have a motion by Mr. Anderpont and a second by Mr. Scott. Any discussion? Any objection? That item carries. Item 9, consideration of adopting resolutions were applicable for each of the following items as requested by the Human Resources Department. A, approve amendments to the multi-jurisdictional agreement between the six parish CEO consortium. Nine, both, both, all bullets. B, approve Second. agreement between the police chair and Louisiana Housing Co uh, Cooperation for the Low Income Home Energy Assistance Program, LAHEAP, and C, Acknowledgement of submittal of minutes from the Calcasieu Parish Human Resources Services Advisory Board for the meeting held on October 16, 2018. I have a motion by Mr. Scott on all bullets and a second by Mr. McMillan. Any discussion? Any objection? Can I that item carry. Oh, <laughs> discussion. Mr. Gilry. Uh, I just want to say that I think, Mr. Poli, that uh, we had an increase in that this year, right? That was a good increase for those people. So thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. Gilring. Any good, further discussion? Good Hearing good none. Good uh, we have a point of per personal privilege, good. Mr. Anderpont. Thank you, Mr. President. Members, uh, I know that you are aware that uh, Tony Gilring was elected third vice to the Police Jury Executive Board over the uh, last week during the uh, state convention at, uh, here in Calcasieu Parish. He is the, only the sixth person from this parish to be elected that, to that position in four years will be president of the Police Jury Association. So I think we need to give him a round of applause in light of the fact that it's not easy to be elected. To that. <laughs> Speech, three words or less. <laughs> I think Kevin. We have, we have another, Mr. Guidry. Yes, and I just want to echo a little bit of what Mr. Francis said. Tony's probably the only guy that I know that probably runs year-round for <laughs> offices, and I just want to commend him on his stamina. And Tony is just a great guy, Tony. But also I want to commend the, um, the staff here. Um, Mr. Brian Beam, your staff did an outstanding job at the host party. That had, that had to have been one of the best host parties we ever attended. And I think a lot of it was put together by Miss Jessica. And Jessica, we want to say to you, all of the jurors, you did an outstanding job in your staff. We're going to give you guys a round of applause. All right. Mr. Gilry. Yes. I just want to say thank you to everyone that I will have the opportunity in four years to bring the meeting and everything conference back over here so it's going to bring money and everything to this parish so that's going to be great and i look forward for that year us to have a good year thank you all good job, thank you. Thank you. Good job, to adjourn. we are adjourned <laughs>